Pretty much since I was a kid, I have heard nothing but good things about Avatar. I'm talking about this Avatar right here. This one. Not this one. Not the James Cameron one that has been trying to get a sequel for like 30 years now. I'm talking about the good one. The masterpiece. And even though I've heard nothing but good things about Avatar, there is a special breed of people that do not like it. Now, I do not know much about these people. They probably enjoy playing Splatoon, or maybe they enjoy playing Yoru and Valorant, but we're gonna find out more about them because today we're gonna be reading one star Avatar The Last Airbender reviews. I'm not sure what all the hype is about, it seems to mimic slash try hard at Japanese style animation, which makes it look like a cheap knockoff. There isn't any depth or emotion at all, it's rather shallow and bleak, the voices are way too white sounding, and you can hear the script being read which totally sucks. I'll stick with the real Japanese anime and subtitles. <laughs> How did 29 people find this helpful? How? Look, if you hate cartoons, bro, just say it. You don't have to mask it like this. Just say, I hate cartoons. Trust me, you'll feel a lot better. Also, the thing about hearing the script being read, that, that is total BS. The voice actors were phenomenal in this series. Now, they say that it's trying to try hard at Japanese style animation. I guess they're referring to the art style, which I don't really think it mimics Japan at all or like anime. In my opinion, it is more cartoony, it's more round, uh, it's more playful, which isn't necessarily most anime. Like, trust me, I love anime as much as anybody else. I've seen a lot of anime, but I think Avatar is mainly like an homage to Asian culture. It's not trying to steal anything or really be anything that it's not. Avatar The Last Airbender is one of the most overrated shows ever. It basically copies Star Wars. Darth Vader on the main antagonist being a moody teenager with major family issues. Okay, I mean, I guess this guy just can't enjoy fiction because I feel like 90% of fiction has characters like this. This is a common writing practice. So if this ruins the entirety of the show for you, then I mean, I guess all to you, man. I don't really know what to tell you. Avatar The Last Airbender is a series based solely around the crude appropriations of cultures throughout the world for which have been combined and generalized and at certain points disregarded in, in order to create a clearly western TV show meant to emulate the times for which now any TV show would be considered and acquitted. Why does this TV series get so much special treatment? Although praised for its animation, it is actually shaky and inconsistent. My theory is that it is held in our hearts by nostalgia, for which any other show from that time or an older audience would have remembered differently and would have not aged as well as it did. The world building is explicitly based around racist views and appropriation of cultures of very low range of the world. Even the storytelling in itself is meek in nature, would not recommend unless you want a show to hate. Now, the whole culture appropriation thing, I don't really think these people know what they're talking about. They see a cartoon that was probably written by white people and that was made in the United States and they think, wow, there's Asian characters in the show. Wait a minute. Asian characters? White people? Has to be cultural appropriation, right? No, no, it doesn't. It really doesn't. Trust me. Believe me. It really doesn't. The writers clearly paid their respect. And all of the martial arts shown in this show are based off of real Asian martial arts. Now, I really don't want to go too deep into this, but it's clear to me that Avatar is a good example of cultural appreciation. And as for nostalgia being a big factor and why this show is so loved, yeah, it, it's a small factor, but no, it still holds up to today. I recently just showed someone Avatar for the first time, and she loved it. She thought it was a great series, probably one of the best she's seen. And she never watched Avatar as a kid. This was all new to her. I have tried reading this review like four times. It is worded so weirdly, it is so difficult to get through. I just want to point out that he was mad that the Avatar state was activated by him getting poked in the back by a effing stone. I mean, it was a little more than him getting poked in the back by a stone. It's a little bit more. Uh, he's complaining that bending is weird because you just move your arm all weirdly and that the ending was anticlimactic because Aang win the Avatar state for 5 minutes and 1. I mean, you can call that anticlimactic, but it's really not. 
Aang was going through this resolve of not wanting to kill the Fire Lord. He was calling all of his past lives and they were all telling him to kill the Fire Lord. All of them. And he ended up finding a solution on his own that he could defeat the Fire Lord, stop the war, and not have to take a life. To me, that is not anticlimactic. That is the perfect ending for a story like that. This is the cringiest show I think I've ever watched and every two seconds they're complimenting each other. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, the complimenting each other every two seconds. That, that's funny. It's not true, but it's very funny. Uh, but on that end, I think I'm going to wrap up the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed watching, please leave a like. Comment down below if you guys want more of this, because this was really fun to make. And uh, yeah, please subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in the next video.